Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. Let me take you back and tell you a real interesting story. Uh, kind of, sort of. Anyway, uh, we're talking uh, uh, early to late, uh, around the early, uh, late 80s, uh, if you will. Uh, I know memory lane is uh, 1992 or uh, 1979, all the way up to uh, 1999. So we're talking early 80s, uh, early to late 80s. Back when the Betamaxes uh, uh, were uh, were popular, and uh, Betamax, of course, was a was a smaller tape than what a VHS is. So it's about like that or something or another. Anyway, nonetheless, the Betamaxes had fizzled out, and usually where you caught the Betamaxes uh, uh, from the uh, uh, into the early 90s was in um, well, for me anyway, where I saw them was in uh, uh, was in um, uh, schools, if you will. Uh, my high school uh, had uh, uh, teachers that used uh, Betamax uh, to show us uh, movies or whatever, uh, something pertaining to uh, uh, the lessons that uh, uh, that uh, we were being taught. Uh, anyway, uh, basically what it was was, uh, you know, VHS was, uh, uh, was in play. And uh, now VHS, of course, are out. And uh, he, you know, in this day and age, it were uh, so due to uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. Back in the day, uh, I would, uh, you know, when I worked at Doc Lachelle Restaurant, Back there from 1992 all the way up to 1999, I had uh, uh, I had used uh, uh, the uh, brains that I had, had uh, the knowledge that I gained uh, of uh, recording and setting up two VHSs uh, to one another and recording movies, if you will. Because back in the day, VHS was easy to record a VHS movie because there wasn't no macrovision uh, uh, copyright protections or anything like that that allowed you to have, you know, the problems with copywriting. So I would go out, uh, when I get paid on a Friday, I'd go out and uh, I'd pick up uh, uh, four or five movies uh, there at the video store and uh, I'd pick up uh, uh, four or five uh, uh, VHS tapes and I'd record movie to movie. I had uh, three, four, five boxes full of VHS tapes, and when I moved from uh, from uh, Maslin to Indiana uh, in uh, 2001, uh, I didn't have uh, any, uh, you know, any movies uh, that I took with me. Just a few uh, very vague movies that I had. Um, you know, I didn't take many with me, and some of these, then some of these movies, I wish I would have taken a few because now I can't find. Uh, I don't usually uh, uh, record. Uh, movies on DVD, but there are some movies that are so hard to find. Very rarities of movies that I do uh, that I do find uh, uh, that uh, I do uh, uh, that I have on uh, VHS or excuse me that I have on DVD uh, uh, that uh, I had to record myself because uh, they're not available uh, in the United States on uh, DVD, and uh, that's shameful of uh, the movie companies that uh, own these videos that are sitting on them and won't release them on DVD. Anyway, nonetheless, VHS to VHS, I'd copy VHS movies, you know, like I said, whatever it was, whatever struck my fancy, uh, old uh, uh, classic uh, comedy, uh, classic old school horror, we're talking uh, all the old Friday the 13th movies, the originals, now none of this new stuff is coming out, uh, uh, the original, uh, uh, some of the older uh, classic horror movies, uh, uh, some movies uh, today that, uh, uh, that are still awesome in their own right, and I'm talking movies like... Um, uh, like I said, the old Fire Thirteenth, uh, Candyman's, the uh, uh, the uh, Child's Play movies, uh, uh, the old school comedies, the uh, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation movies, uh, uh, Fletch, Fletch Lives, all all these older movies that I recorded on VHS, you know, and some other movies that I recorded on VHS that I no longer have anymore because my mom took them, put them in storage, and uh, didn't pay her storage bill. Hello, mother. <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, VHS to VHS, you do it all the time. Uh, don't do it much anymore because now VHSs are obsolete. So uh, if you have any VHS movies out there that are that are uh, you know that uh, uh, that you still have, they may be classics. Uh, so hold on to them sometime. But VHS to VHS, you do it all the time. <laughs> Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time.